Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another interesting Bakugan video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, some stuff that's been circulating with a reboot of the reboot, like some new Bakugan have been released. Um, I have tried to gather as much information on this as I can, so I've kind of been holding off. There have been multiple leaks throughout like the last week, week and a half. Um, but I wanted to hold off until I could really talk about it, so... Here we are talking about it. Um, yeah, I don't even know where to begin. I think it's better to begin by just looking at it and then talking about it. So here are the leaks that I have gathered. As you can see here, these are much older. So these are the first leaks we got. And they were essentially what I assume to be like 3D renders, like computer models of like ideas of what the back of gonna look like. Because they don't look like they're real. They look like they're computer generated and... I've seen these before. We saw these a while back. Uh, and then here is some more angles uh, and some different ones. This one right here particularly looks really interesting. So I'm curious to see how this goes. And you'll understand what I'm talking about here in a second because things are different. Uh, and then this one's like eyes are weird. Like they don't, they don't feel like back to me. They look like bugs so far. Um, and then yeah, like again... Like, these don't really look like Bakugan to me. They look like, like, insects or bugs or something. And, like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. You guys can let me know in the comments what you're thinking. But then, these two are pretty curious as they have, like, these little, like, ridges. So, like, I guess if you spin them, they might be able to, like, hit. So, they're very Beyblade feeling, which is... I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see here, so when they close, they've got those things sticking out and they spin, I guess. I, I don't really know. So we'll see. But that is only scratching the surface. So I wanted to touch on these because they're like 3D renders, but we actually got like physical forms. So I'm not sure where this one came from. I asked my Discord to send me images and one of the people on there sent them to me. So shout out to you. You know who you are. Um, but this is like one of the first physical models we get and it's a obviously very prototypish very grainy photo You can't see a whole lot um, it it kind of looks like a monoris or I Don't know just like the wings close up on it. So nothing like super special yet, but This is when things get really interesting so this is when it finally caught my attention and I was like, oh, we've got something going on. I need to make a video about this. Is this Baku tin? So let's take a look at the packaging here in the Bakugan. So as you can see here, we've got a Bakugan called a Special Attack Manted. And if you can check down here, it's really blurry. We'll get into more pictures. But it has some kind of spinning or like bind system. So where it comes apart and then you can put it together and it, it spins because as you can see here on the tin, it's clearly spinning. So we'll get into this a little bit more, but it reminds me a lot of like Turbine Helios or Myriad Hades from New Vestroya where they tried it with the rip cords. So really interesting here, but the packaging looks, it's pretty much the whole scheme is like blue and red. And you can even see the logos changed here, so it's very different. It has nothing underneath it, which makes people think that it's like a reboot of the reboot, considering I believe the reboot's done. Um, so this having nothing underneath it, like no name or anything, like not Battle Planet or Brawlers, makes it think that it's something entirely new, which would be super interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look at some more photos. Um, so here is more of the ripcord on this thing, as you can see. Um, it's got the Bakugan logo there. It looks very stock image, so not exactly sure where all these came from, um, but here you can see this. So it looks like you've got the ripcord, and it's exactly like some Beyblade and then the like Turbine Helios where you just ripcord it and it spins to attack. And it's following that same theme from those 3D render models of having like something on the outside of it that I guess is used to like hit. So it's just, it's feeling very Beyblade right now. Um, now here's a closer look at more of the packaging. And then this is where we also get to see gate cards because they're different. So as you can see here, we have Trox, which is back, which is interesting. I don't recognize 
this Bakugan. So I don't know if it's new or if it's from the reboot. But we will have reboot Bakugan coming back to this new edition or whatever it is. Because clearly that's Trox. Um, and you'll see later on there are some repeats. But gate cards here look a little different. So we've got the Spinny Boy, the Mantid or whatever it's called. What is it? Mantinoid? Mantid. We got Mantid here. Um, and then the gate cards. So it looks like the gate cards are divided in half by this black lining. So here we've got like a black ridge right there. And we've got a black ridge on this one. So it seems like you get certain powers. Like this looks like a heart with like arms. So maybe like health strength or something. And then this one looks like a special attack type of thing. And then this one looks like... It's a little grainy. We might get better pictures, though. I think I have some more on here. But it seems like depending on where your Bakugan lands on the card, it gets upgrades or powers or special abilities. So super interesting to see what comes out of that. Um, it's different, which I don't think is a bad thing. It's a little bit more random. Like, you have to have a lot of skill to land on the part of the card you want, but it's also like... If you land on the card, there's no telling what you're going to get. Uh, and then here's a small picture saying it's special attack. So not all the Bakugan are going to be like that. Uh, I assume that there's going to be regular ball Bakugan, but this one just happens to be a special one. Um, yeah, here's a closer look at the card. As you can see there, I think the logo even says 2023 Spin Master. But we've got a heart with like strong arms. Looks just like a boxing glove with something on it, so clearly attack. I'm not sure what this one is, but it's got like a fire symbol on it, so... Oh, it might be a shoe. Okay, it looks like a shoe running, so maybe like speed? I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know what the other side of the card looks like either. So, super interesting, but here's a great picture of the Bakugan, so Mantid. As, it, as you can see, it does look like, like a Mantid, like Mantris, Praying Mantis type thing. Um, got its arms laying down. And it looks like it's even got like a little nub to spin on. So very Beyblade-esque. Very translucent part here. So I don't know. It's interesting, but it's different. So we'll see where it goes. Another angle here. Um, here is like the symbol or whatever it is, I guess. I don't know if that's unique to him since it's a bug. Um, or if it's like a prototype type thing, uh, but very interesting symbol here, If whether it's a placeholder or the real deal. Um, if there's a bug faction, I have, I have no idea. But it's interesting to speculate on. Um, yeah, and like, is it Pyrus? Like, it's clearly red, but does that mean it's Pyrus if it's got this bug symbol? So, a lot of questions. Again, another good look at this symbol. And just like a nice front piece of the Bakugan. Again, you can really see that spinning piece down here. Um, super interesting. Here is the top half, so it's very clearly removable. So here is a screenshot of a YouTube video, which I will play here at the end of the video. So that we can get a good look at it. But as you can see, there's like, you know, Bakugan Battle Planet stuff, but then the new stuff. So we'll get into that. I want to take a look at it because there's clearly packs here. And we'll go analyze them. But this screenshot here is just like... A good reminder that's coming um, so then here we have here we have what is getting everyone kind of like well what's happening um, because these dropped like yesterday or the day before and as you can see here it follows the same exact thing as that mantid where it's special attack so this is dragonoid so dragonoids coming back I think we all expected that from a reboot Design-wise, he looks like a turtle. He looks like Juggernoid. Let's be real here. This dude, I'm pulling up a picture of Juggernoid right beside him. That is Juggernoid. Um, yeah. He's also got that same spinning bind system, so right here. It looks like they might be replaceable. So like Beyblades, you can swap out parts. Because um, this looks very similar to the Mantid. And then it's like got a fire thing instead of whatever Mantid had. And then Drago's on top. Um... Interesting design for Drago. I mean, I guess it looks like a dragon. What catches my eye the most here is this symbol. Because it's like a goofy, tongue, smiley face. But it's Pyrus. So I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. Again, we have no logo up here. Um, just like the Bakugan logo, but no like name. And no no nothing like is this the symbol for pyrus because if so what does mantid what is mantid 
A um, lot of questions here, but the packaging again is like the blue on red. Um, so we're seeing a lot of consistency here. Again, here's a better look at some more. So not just Dragonoid, but Nilius is returning. And then we have one called Ventry, which I do not believe was in the reboot. I'll actually look it up really quick. So Ventry was never in the reboot, apparently. As far as I'm aware, that's not a Bakugan, at least what I could find. But Nilius is returning. Ventry, new Bakugan maybe. But then, this is where things get interesting. So this is clearly the same symbol as Drago. So Pyrus? But he looks chaos, so I don't know. He also is translucent. So clear, um, same similar bind system. And then Nilius here, same bind system, but look at that symbol. It's almost like a, it looks like it's the all faction symbol with its rainbow color, but it's a dragon. So I assume we're getting new attributes here, like new like factions of Bakugan. So, um, we're going to take a look at those closer here in a second, but yeah, this is interesting. And again, Nilius has his, his heads and then he's got, um, he looks a little translucent, but I don't think he is in that image. Uh, here's another close up of the bind pictures, which is super interesting. Um, just a close up of how they look. So it seems like you can mix and match, which will be fun. Um, here we go with some more. Uh, let's see, another Drago. Here is another Mantid, but this time it is like green. So Ventus-esque. We cannot see the symbol there. Um, we've got this guy up here though, which I can't quite make out the name of. But again, there's a symbol there that looks kind of different from the one we saw on Drago. Not entirely sure, because yeah, that's, that's definitely different. Definitely different. So I don't know. We'll get a look at those in a second. Here's a gate card though, and that looks the same as the reboot. So, I don't know. I do not know. Um, here we have some repeats. So we have Nilius, Trox, Drago. Not entirely sure who this guy is, um, but we get a better look at that symbol. So there's clearly a dragon symbol here. This has that same symbol as Drago. Yeah, so these three are the same symbol. And then this one is different. So as we can see here, the symbols do match the Bakugan. Because you can see here, this is a tongue kind of face. This is also a tongue kind of face. And then Nilius here has this dragon symbol. Not the prism anymore, but it's 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 matching. Like it goes right there. You can see it. You can't see it in the picture, but right here we can see it matches. So we have new factions, but the colors seem to not matter. Like Trox is clearly green, but only his symbol is different like it matches everything i don't know if these bakugan have something in common that make them match with this symbol or what um lots of questions here here we can finally see a look at all of the symbols so we've got a dragon symbol almost like a hawk or snowflake-esque symbol uh a like beast symbol i guess with like the claw and the scratch marks some kind of water-esque symbol. Not really sure what that one's supposed to be. It's very unique, almost like a wave, but not quite. And then here we just have a, like, a Triceratops. So, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. Um, I have no clue. But I assume maybe each of these, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, maybe each of these symbols is different on each Bakugan. Um, clearly, we've got some kind of big thing here. There's the bind system, but not all of them have it. So, like, whatever this spinny system is, I'm calling it the bind system, but I have no idea. The gate card looks the same as the reboot, though. Like, that looks similar. I, it's hard to tell, but it does look close. Uh, here you got the rip cord, it's white, and I guess this might hold your cards or something, uh, but we got Bakugan here, so, and then the packaging, says Bakugan Battle Pack, and it's got the logo here with some uh, Bakugan. Let's see if it can make out the names of these. I see Dragonoid, uh, it's too hard to read, maybe we can get a better image, ah, here we go. So here's a different pack, but it's a special attack brawler, titanium dragonoid, 
Nilius. Can't see anything else, but yeah, so we're gonna get into the titanium dragon wood here in a second, but he's right here, he's diamond looking. Um, and then I should see more of like the cover art and stuff, and then just a similar packaging. Um, another thing, <laughs> there's so much information right now. Uh, Bakugan Battle Bros. Don't even get me started. I don't know. We see this new symbol here, that blue one. We have a Trox, which is translucent, and then this guy who's translucent. Bind system right there. Do they combine? I don't know. That'd be my guess, as they pair together somehow. Got another image here of these two. Nilius and another guy. Dragon symbol there. Um... Yeah, at this point, just a lot of speculation. Battle Bros sounds kind of weird to me, but we'll see. So here we have some mythic packs that remind me of the blind bags. Uh, we've got Nilius and then Titanium Dragonoid and Trox there. So it seems like these cards are different finally. We have that new color scheme with the logo. So um, that is good news, I think. And Titanium Dragon Woods here, these guys are all translucent. It seems like even Nilius here has his symbol, which I guess is dragon because of the half moon shape here, but it's like gold. So probably elemental, so it seems like diamond and elementals are coming back. Um, yeah, so interesting stuff. That is all I've got so far, but we can tell that Titanium Dragon Woods is elemental and diamond. And uh, we got a beast symbol there, and then the smiley symbol there. But now what I want to do is go ahead and switch over to the YouTube video to see what we can find, because this has a lot of information. The video is titled Stan Vila de Sunny Na Abrin 2023. I believe this is a toy like convention or showcase in Brazil. Might be wrong on that, but you guys can correct me in the comments below. Bakugan kind of start here in about 10 seconds, so I'm just gonna play it and we're gonna watch it and get a first like view of it. So here are Bakugan. So we've got Dekas, the packs, reboot stuff here armored alliance so that's like all normal kind of we've seen all that packaging but those on the side there are what were so interesting so all these we've seen before decas armored alliance geogan yep all good cubos um yeah i mean this is just someone like walking around filming so we go back some we can kind of get a shot of the reboot stuff so let's see all right he's gonna turn here we have what looks like a deca bakugan from this new thing or whatever um more packs here so as we can see there's the symbol so we have the beast symbol the water symbol and the dragon symbol and there's all of them and these are mostly just images we've seen before but very very interesting that they're just at a convention in Brazil, which I think is an interesting spot to have them. Um, I don't know if there's logic behind that or if they released them early there. Uh, I, a lot of questions so far, a lot of questions. But I wanted to bring this information to you guys. Um, and we can discuss this in the comments because I'm curious to see the route they go. So far, it's unique. A little bit similar to Beyblade, in my opinion, which I don't like. But... It doesn't seem like all of them are going to be Beyblade-esque, and it seems like they're kind of sticking to the roots, except changing the attributes, which is weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but I am excited. Uh, it's new content, and it's a new kind of exploration. Um, so I'm excited to see what comes up out of it. And I guess all we can do is sit and wait and speculate until... Uh, until something happens. So you guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me any information you have. Uh, I'll try and keep you guys updated as much as I can on this new content. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.